Cool. So we are here. We've got a huge room. We've got a huge crowd, which is always. There are good. so many people here for those watching the video. Yeah. Ruining <laughs> Ruin it. School well, that's it. We're done. Yeah. No, teasing, teasing. That's right. It's school day, right? Yeah. It's also uh, move-in weekend for the college. So a lot of the college people are moving in today, so they'll probably be here either later tonight or tomorrow. So I've been told that today will be our slow day. What do you mean? I know. I don't think it's slow. Here's my thing. I was talking to one of the uh, one of the other guests, and they said, you know, I just am tired that you know, I do a panel and only five people show up. I'm like, you know what? That doesn't bother me because those are the five people that really want to be there. So I, I don't mind a small panel. I, I don't mind anything. Yeah, that's kind of that way. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm pretty easy going. Cool. You know, I got my water. I, I mean, I food. wish it was, you know, vodka. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but then again, I can't do that. You, you guys probably, later. yeah, later. Yeah. You know, it's a little early really? for that. And you guys probably wouldn't get the proper answers to your questions. No, you wouldn't. Really wouldn't. So, and so speaking of, let's introduce ourselves. You go first. You're more handsome. Thank you, bro. I disagree. I'm the older, uglier one, so I get to go second. Yeah. Cool. I'm Eric Vale, uh, concerning Dragon Ball Z Kai, I play the voice of Trunks, or will play the voice of uh, future Trunks in Dragon Ball Z Kai whenever we get around to it, which should be soon, from yes. what I understand. Yes, uh, I think I've, I've only got a few more episodes before you come in. Right, and then I come in and whip up on Frieza. Yes. And Frieza. And I am the new voice of Lord Frieza. Woo. Uh, my name is Chris Ayers, um, I'm having a ball with it. And I, I'm very excited because this is the first time Eric and I have done a convention together since I've been able to talk about it. I'm like, yeah, I get to go to a con. Jerk kills me. Um, takes away all my fun. Um, that's that, me. I'm very excited. That's him. That's you. That's right. So, cool. Okay, thanks. No. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> cool, so what questions do you guys have? That's, yeah. Right, well, I guess we'll start with that. Yeah, oh, God, yes. What is not to have fun with the show? I mean, I, I had fun with it, and will again. You know. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing a lot of the video games for yeah. in the interim between Z and Kai. Uh, yeah, I, I just started, I just did my first three video games. Uh, actually, I started recording Kai, we got two episodes done and had to go straight into video games, and which was nice right. because I got to we got to experiment and play with all of the different kinds of voices before I actually had to go into the Oh, that's right. That's right. Because because you can get Frieza in, in all, the all the different forms, so we actually got to uh, we actually got to play with what we wanted to sound like prior to actually recording. Very nice. Yeah, I've popped into a couple of your voice sessions too. More well, than you, 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 you know, know I feel like yeah. Sorry, because the way the you know he doesn't he doesn't know, but it sounds awesome. You know. I'm I'm pleased with it, and it's nice because you know I, I primarily play a lot of villains anyway, yeah. and ninety percent of the villains that I never play now with you. So to all of a sudden do something that's happening, it's very nice. It's a very different sound uh, from what most people are used to from, it. and that's been a lot of fun. I will say for me. The thing that I love the most about, aside from working with Sabbath, I never really worked much with Christopher Sabbath, and um, he's wonderful. Sabbath and Robert, who's half of his brain. And, yeah. um, and he will admit that. Most of his brain. <laughs> uh, is, um, for me, is absolutely working with Michael Tatum's scripts. Uh, J. Michael Tatum is, is uh, the writer on the show, and he's done something. I don't even know if you've got, if you haven't really recorded it. I've done it. He's done the thing. Um, well, for one thing, Michael as a writer, if Michael is given a show that has a cast and kind of knows where people's voices are, he's fine with that. He can write knowing what kind of dialogue works for that actor. And will also make it That's why his scripts are so good. Yeah. If he gets a new show that he doesn't know, or there's a character that says, we're going to recast this, he just, because there's a certain cadence or rhythm that an actor will bring to something. So he will just pick an actor that he thinks might be good for that role and start writing it with that actor in mind. He will not tell the director. 
He will not tell the producers. He will not tell anybody. That's just who he's got in mind as the writer. And that has no bearing on casting. So what he's done with the show is each room has almost their own style and language. It's really, it's really well done. So the people from Earth do not sound exactly like the Namekians. The Namekians do not sound like Frieza's crew. Frieza's crew actually does not completely sound like the Ginyu force, even though they're, they're, they're mercenaries hired by Frieza. So Michael has done an amazing job of creating, um, creating a voice for each one of those groups. So Micah, uh, Micah, Michael looked at it, and Michael decided, I really want Frieza to be very, because he monologues, so I should say, I want him to be language heavy with very thick language, almost, almost like classical, almost like doing Shakespeare times. And he's like, oh, because he knows my background in, in, in Shakespeare and classical theater, he's like, oh, I've got to write this with Chris. So he wrote it, he was just flying. And then all of a sudden, Savick goes, hey, I'm thinking about using Chris Ayers for this role. And Michael was like, really? <laughs> <laughs> so it's really been amazing because while, yes, the language is very dense for Frieza, it's been like walking into uh, a role that was tailor-made to all of your strengths as a voice actor and none of your weaknesses. And so we've just gone boom, 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 boom. It's been some of the fastest recording I've done, and I record fairly fast anyway, but yeah. we've just flown. So, and I really think that is, a lot of that is really, has to be read into the Michael Taylor. Because his scripts are, my favorite lines, but I don't even know if you've got to hear this, is, uh, once again, my dreams for mortality have been crushed on the shores of your incompetence. <laughs> yeah. When you have dialogue like that, how can you not have fun? Yeah, well, and, and it's, it's good, you know, Michael knows how to write. He's, yeah. he's very good at it. He, can, he comes from, uh, an advertising background. You, know, you, you worked in advertising for a long time, and uh, so he knows. Yeah. He knows where he's. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. He knows where pretty he's good. Doing. Yeah. He doesn't suck. Uh, yeah. Uh, you guys, you guys good? No. Uh, if you need a mic. What's that? If you need a mic. Can you, can you guys hear us? Yeah. I think you can hear me. I'll oh, grab it just in case. Okay. Cool. In case the room fills up. Yeah. Because that's gonna happen. Yeah. You know? Hey. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah.
oh, let's see what she thinks about that. And I flipped it on and she just... <laughs> and ever since then, I'm like, oh God, I wish you could just take a nap. Put Chris on. Chris will bore her to sleep. <laughs> Sorry. It's all good. It's all good. You know, my, uh, my little niece, uh, who just recently, seven years old, just got her black belt. Uh, yeah, I mean, she's, she's hardcore awesome. in martial arts. Uh, she's a uh, state champion for Virginia in her age bracket. Just have, just have to give props to my niece. Um, she is a Dragon Ball fanatic. And especially really? since Kai won. Yeah. So we didn't tell her. Awesome. We didn't tell her that Greg and I were in it. That's cool. And if we waited until the first Frieza episode, and then her mom said, that's Uncle Chris. Uh -huh. Oh, she she was beyond happy. And then when Greg came on as one of the Ginyu Force, as the Cartman of the Ginyu Force. Yeah. Um, Do Frieza again, Uncle Chris? What? Do Frieza again, Uncle Chris? <laughs> Basically, everything's right in the yes. <laughs> the, the nice thing with it is, is that um, Frieza first of all is right in the everything's right in then Frieza's the second form. Like Frieza. Frieza's second form goes right into here. Then the third form, I I can actually go low enough. But when you get that low in your voice, you don't have a lot of range to play. And we played right. so much with the range. Uh, Chris and I decided it would be better to take Frieza's second form and pitch him down so that I still had yeah. the range to play with that up and down quality that we're using. Um, so, and That's then, cool. then of course, Ultimate, uh, or fourth form, Ultimate, and uh, Mecha. Are all back to high voice, which is the most fun. That's the one I have the most fun with. See, I don't get that as a drum set, just do one thing. Yeah. You know? No. Sure. Trunks is more important than that. There's more than one thing. Well, he's important. Yes, I was going to say. But he just. One voice. Right, he just does, you know. But are you, are you still going to do like the announcers and stuff? Did you do the announcer? For yeah, I did the tournament yeah. announcer and yeah. the Trunks. Okay. Future Trunks. So, yeah, I'll still do them, you know. Cool. I don't, honestly, I don't think anyone else wants to do the, the tournament. <laughs> it's the most straining, loud, intense, yeah. you know. 